emphatically, no. Uh, I think the human rights of um, uh, prisoners, you're speaking of specifically about prisoners. Um, in 1970, for his example, again, the answer is no. Uh, in 1970, um, there were maybe about, um, guesstimate about maybe from two and a half to 500,000 people in prison. Well, since that time, we have now, um, on any given day, two and a half million people who are locked up in, in prison. Uh, in 1970, a person who may have had a life sentence, uh, they had the possibility of being released on, on parole. Mm -hmm. uh, after doing 10 years and six months, it, was, it wasn't a law, but it was a hybrid law that allowed uh, the governor to pardon the person after doing 10 years and six months. Now, there is the, the hybrid law has been stopped. If you have a life sentence in prison in Louisiana, you have a life sentence without the possibility of parole, probation, or suspension of sentence. Uh, plus, you have now, again, like I say, two and a half million people who are incarcerated in the state on any given day. And you have uh, over seven and a half million who are somehow tied uh, to the prison system. They are either uh, under some type of supervision or some other form of incarceration, if not directly in prison. So if, if, the, the con if you're asking me, have the condition changed since 1970? Uh, has human rights become much uh, more of a topic? Um, well, in, in the last years, human rights has become much more of a topic, but the human rights uh, uh, of people in the United States, especially in prison, it's still persistent, and it is much, it is growing, and it's ever growing, and it will continue to grow unless there is constant focus. We have, we have gotten individual support. It must be under, understood that the Black Panther Party as an, an organization was targeted by the U.S. government and by the FBI, especially the FBI and Jagger Hoover at the time, who were head of the FBI. and. Um, the Black Panther Party as an organization was targeted, and it's as an organization now it ceased to exist. It no longer exists as an organization. Um, but I tell people uh, uh, all the time that um, in joining, you know, um, the Black Panther Party, I also joined the struggle. And there's a difference in joining an organization and joining the struggle. The struggle is unending. You can join an organization, and if the organization is targeted by the government, the, then that organization will be, uh, you know, uh, um, destroyed. Um, it would be decimated, uh, and that's what happened to the Black Panther Party. It was, as an organization, it was decimated. However, there are individual members of the Black Panther Party who, like myself, joined the struggle, and they still struggle. Uh, many are law professors. A, a, a few are law professors in schools around uh, the country. Um, and you know, many are college professors and, and what's not. Many are still involved in the struggle uh, for human rights, civil rights, or whatever other rights uh, 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 that that people uh, deserve to have. So the Black Panther Party, as an organization, while it does not exist, individual members of the Black Panther Party who are still alive, who are still functioning, who still recognize that there are, uh, uh, you know, discrepancies in society. They are doing things in the community to make sure uh, that issues are, are being spoke about and issues are continue to be in forefront. I think we, uh, we did meet uh, uh, some officials here, and I think the thing that need to be done is what uh, what is being done. I think we need to perpetuate what we are doing, keep it going. I think the, the more pebbles in the pond, the, the bigger the, the ripples, the more ripples, and the bigger the wave become. And I think all our efforts combined can have a, a, a grave impact on what we are trying to uh, trying to achieve. So France, um, we are so glad that France uh, has gotten on board. We are glad England has gotten on board. We are glad Scotland has gotten on board. And on and on into infinity, we are really amazed at the amount of support that we are getting worldwide. And so. Uh, we think that all the support that we get, it, you know, uh, uh, we can use. I mean, uh, you don't never uh, ever stop or what else could be done is keep doing what you're doing because uh, Coca-Cola, I use this analogy all the time, you know.
Coca-Cola sells a million bottles of Coca-Cola uh, a day, but they don't stop their advertisement. And again, uh, uh, Bear Aspen does the same. Uh, whatever other product that people sell on a daily basis, they don't stop advertising because they make a billion dollars or they sell a billion dollars or whatever. They don't stop advertising. So I think the same analogy we need to apply to our uh, persistence in struggling. We need to keep focus on what we are doing and replicate it as many times as we can with how many people in how many countries we can. That is the main quest because the more focusing and the, uh, the broader the platform becomes and, and so to speak, um, to analogize it, the bigger the waves become because the little pebble creates a ripple and all these pebbles and ripples in the pond creates a wave and, you know, uh, water is a, a pretty powerful source and people power, people determination are like the water in the ocean. It can wash away anything.